software engineering is a great career choice for anyone who loves to build and create. In this video series, kids can learn the basics of software engineering by designing their own computer games. With a few easy steps, kids will be able to create their own computer games and become software engineers. How many things can you do with software and a computer? Software is the instructions that make your computer work the way you want it to. So, for example, if you're playing a game on your phone, the software is what makes the characters move around and jump when you tap them. Another thing people can use software for is to get information from somewhere else. If you wanted information about computer science from this video, we could use software to search for it using YouTube's search feature or a word processor like Microsoft Word. There are also lots of tools that people can make with software and a computer. For example, an artist could use the very same tools as somebody who writes code to create their art and maybe even code the art to do something new or different. When you draw in Microsoft Paint on your computer, you're using an application that was created by programmers with a lot of different pieces of software that have been put together by engineers to create something new for artists like us. Who makes software? The people who make software are called programmers. They have awesome jobs where they get to use their minds to create cool new things for everyone. A programmer might start by looking at some problems they think people might have that need a new solution. Sometimes they will look at an old problem and think of something new to do with it or sometimes they will just come up with something new on their own. When they think of something, programmers often write it down in a document, sometimes called a sketchbook or a notebook, or for some people they may just use their heads to keep track of what's going on in there. Once the programmer has an idea, he or she will turn it into instructions that can be read by a computer. This is called coding. The instructions for the program are written with a programming language like Java, C++, or Python and the programmer will use tools like an editor or text editor to write them down. When someone wants to use the program that the programmer has made, he or she runs it on their own computer using something called an interpreter or compiler. What is programming? Programming is a way of telling a computer what to do. For example, we will make a program that says hello world. If you want a computer to write hello world, you type the words in and say save as hello world.by. In order to create a program, you need to use a programming language. In this case, we are going to use Python. Python is an easy language that kids can learn easily. It is free and you don't have to buy any extra software on top of it. It runs on all computers and can be used in lots of different ways. For example, you could make a game or design a website with it. To learn more about how Python works and how you can use it, watch my other videos about Python programming. What does a programmer do to make software like video games, word processors, or websites? The first thing that you need to know is that most computers only understand numbers. Computers can't actually read letters, like words on a page or sentences in a book. So whenever a programmer writes code, they're usually writing numbers. And they're doing this because computers just understand numbers, it's the only way they can communicate. Another thing you should know is that most computer programs are made up of little pieces of code called instructions. And these instructions are always just numbers too that correspond with what you want the computer to do. It's not easy to get instructions because they're usually written in a language only programmers know called code. But don't worry. Even if you don't know how to write code yourself, there are lots of great websites that let you write the instructions you want and show you what they will look like when they're done. We'll talk about some tools we use for this later on in today's episode. When programmers write instructions for computers, they don't really think about it in terms of making things happen instead, it's kind of like solving puzzles to make sure everything works out right. You might have seen this game called Tetris before where all you do is move different shapes around so they fit together and form lines on a board while a computer program kind of feels like doing that too. So when we use these tools we talked about earlier, we usually start by writing out our instructions for what needs to happen then we check them over and make sure everything is correct before sending them to the computer so it can follow them. And every time someone writes software, 
It takes lots of different pieces sometimes as many as millions so there's no way one person will be able to do everything themselves even if they did know how to write code. Computer programs are made up of lots of different pieces which all work together when put together in order properly by people who know how to write code using tools like websites and apps which provide instruction sets for those people who may not have access to coding languages. Why is it important to learn how to program and make your own software? Programming is a way of writing instructions for computers. It can be really hard to describe what you want a computer to do in words, but programming languages like Python make it so you can type in the instructions for what you want the computer to do. So, let's say you wanted an app that tells you when the sun rises or sets. You would have to use programming for that. You can create just about anything with coding, games, websites, or even just funny messages. And finally, if we want our kids or our friends' kids in the future to have good jobs and good lives, then we need those kids to be able to code.